traditional popular level one book, and we are learning how to play Puff the Magic Dragon. This video is going to focus on the second half of the song, beginning with measure 17 on page two and going all the way to the end. First part of Puff the Magic Dragon right here is exactly like what you have already played on the first page. So you already know how to play these measures 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 are exactly like the first two lines of the song. So let's go ahead and play them. To get started, you should have your left hand thumb on middle C and your right hand thumb on middle D. These are all the first notes here. And remember, our left hand has whole notes, so it's going to stay down while the right hand plays many notes. One, two, ready, go. at the piece right here, what you'll notice is that we have a repeat sign there. And if you look earlier in the piece, we have a backwards repeat sign here. If you think of this kind of like a video game, it's like you get to this moment here and it bounces you back until you hit right here and then you go forwards again. So we're going to go forward again here and we keep going until this spot. And then we're going to skip this. You'll notice that it has this bracket over it with the number one. This is called a first ending. So we only play this the first time that we play these lines. The second time we go to the second ending right here. You see this bracket up here that has the little two under it. So then we play this last line to end the song. Now let's learn the last line and then we'll practice doing that repeat with the different endings to see how it works. Um, we're going to begin by playing the right hand here. So it starts with your right hand thumb on D. Let's go ahead and look at that. So right hand thumb on D and then it's going to skip. It'll step down, skip up, and step down again. Two, three, four, one, two, and then one more F. And that last F is staccato. We know that because it has the little dot under it. And it also has what's called an accent mark, which is this thing that looks like a greater than sign in math. And that sign means that we play it a little bit louder than the other notes around it. Let's try just that right hand part again in the same place, beginning in measure 25, which is the last line with D. One, two, ready, go. D, two, F, four, E, two, G, three, four, F. One, two, three, four, one, two, F. Good. Now, are you wondering why I'm holding it for one, two, three, four, and then one, two? That is because of this tie right here. Remember that the tie is the musical plus sign. So when we see that, we add the two notes on either side of it together. So this one note is held for six beat. Now let's take a look at what the left hand does. The left hand starts with playing your second and fourth fingers together, and it plays on beats two and four. And then it plays the thumb with the second finger on a black key, the same black key that we played up here in the song. And it plays that also on beats two and four. And then it has this ending where it goes three, skip up, skip down, skip down. And then it plays the chord. That looks like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. A skip, skip, ta chord. And remember that last note is staccato and accented. Try those last lines with me. We're beginning in measure 25, which is the last line we're doing just the left hand. One, 
two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, three, skip up, skip down, skip down, and a chord. Okay, let's go ahead and put our hands together. The way that this is going to work, the right hand will play, and while it's still holding down, the left hand does its job. The important thing is that the right hand doesn't stop playing while the left hand's going. So the right hand is staying down. Try it with me. We're going to do it at that slightly slower speed. Okay, we're starting in measure 25. This is the last line and we're doing hands together. It begins with that right hand. One, two, ready, go, right. Keep it down, left, right. Keep it down, left, right, left. Always keeping the right hand down. Third finger, left three. Skip up, skip down, right hand still down. And now the last chord staccato and a little bit louder. Okay, now let's look at how we play this whole last section. So we're going to begin right here and we're going to play the first two lines, which is where we hit this repeat sign and we bounce back to this one. We play this again. And when we get to this point, we skip to the second ending and we play the last line. Let's try it. We're beginning now in measure 17. That's the second line of the second page. One, two, ready, go. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four together. Right. Three, skip up, skip down, skip 